Rainbows and welcome back to 31 Days of Halloween where I upload a brand new tutorial every day for the very gory month of October. So today's look is this kind of flesh masquerade type mask. Um, it's quite gory but it's quite actually simple to achieve and very very effective. So I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. So to start off with, I've already done my eye makeup. I've basically just done it from like my nose up and not really done anything underneath because it's going to be covered in blood anyway. I'm going in with a white eyeliner pencil and I'm basically mapping out the shape of the mask. Then with the same pencil, I'm just doing the little staples. So basically just outlining the shape of them, doing them slightly curved on all of the points. So now I'm going in with a darker kind of taupey eyeshadow and I'm just starting to give a little bit of depth and shadowing around to where all those points are. Next I'm moving on to a white aqua paint and I'm drawing in those staples. Moving on to a black one as well, I'm just starting to do little black kind of outlines where the staples will meet my skin just to try and make it look as realistic as possible. Now starting to do some shading coming off those staples to make it look like my skin has been pulled in different directions. So I'm actually using a Brow Pro Made. This is by Pony Cosmetics and it's one of their Palomino shades. I'm going in with a light concealer color and just starting to highlight in between the shadows we created. Moving on to a red cream paint, I'm starting to draw out the rest of my face, just really starting to crispen out the mask. Where I get into more of the, the crevices and the smaller pieces, I'm switching to a smaller brush just to get around all those little fiddly areas. Then I'm just switching it up using a different tone of red and just kind of doing that all over my face. Now going in with a dark cream paint and a tiny little bit of black, I'm just outlining the part of the mask to make it look more stand out-ish. So I'm almost creating some shadows. So I really wanted to cake my face in scab blood, but my scab blood just did not want to work. It was, it was quite old and it was just sticking to my fingers and not to my face. And I was just having this massive headache. So I thought, oh, oh well, would have been cool, but I just made do with what I had. I just decided to cover all of my face with fake blood and also dripped it down my neck and yeah, basically went to town with the fake blood. <laughs> For a bit of a twist, I added a little bit of that fake blood onto the top of my mask and made it drip down onto my forehead. And for some extra gore, I have some fake puffs, which I've been meaning to use, but haven't used yet. And I just applied that along some of the staples to make it look like it's infected and gross. <laughs> so here you have the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Become a part of the Rainbow family. Love you guys and I'll see you all tomorrow.